For more on relief efforts, let's bring in Ade Sukades. He is the director of Mercy Corps in Indonesia and joins us from the capital city of Jakarta. Uh, Ade, welcome. Thank you for talking to us. Now, can you tell us? Thank you for having me. Thank you. A little bit more of the work that your organization has been doing in response to the earthquake. Yeah, uh, we have been deploying our local partners to the site, uh, helping with search and rescue, bringing on life-saving kits. Uh, the extent of the damage is actually quite high, considering the magnitude of the of the earthquakes for only 5.6. So we actually uh, on the ground right now helping with search rescue and also distributing life saving kits. And we are planning to deploy more team members in a couple of days to strengthen the teams uh, already on the ground. Adi, the devastation there is tremendous. We're looking at images right now. Is the Indonesian government equipped to deal with a disaster of this scale? Yes, uh, I believe Indonesia's government in the last 10 years has uh, upped their game with regard to preparedness as well as response capability. If you look at the uh, response and disaster in the last three years, like Lombok and Sulawesi, I think government has proven itself that they're capable of doing it. But of course, uh, the roles of uh, NGOs and civil society like us actually very key also because there's so much you can do in a very uh, widespread uh, you know, damage like we have currently having. So together with the government, uh, the civil society and NGOs here in Indonesia are actually capable of uh, handling this type of uh, size of disaster. Now that said, just seeing the scope of the damage, um, of course, you know, you need structural engineers, you need search and rescue crews from around the world. And, you yeah. know, when something, when an earthquake of this magnitude happens, we do see the world come together and show up. What does uh, Indonesia need from the international community to respond to the devastation right now? Yeah, uh, usually government is very, very strict in terms of you know, inviting international relief, uh, to be honest with you. The only disaster that uh, they actually invite uh, international relief uh, to the sites, actually the Sulawesi earthquake in the seven uh, Richter scales that happened in 2018. But of course, there are still a need uh, to have uh, expertise on specific issues that can probably um, make our work easier here in Indonesia. Uh, like you mentioned about structural damage, I think also important. I think it's also important to invite experts with regard to you know rehabilitation or reconstruction. I believe it is important to make sure you know post the earthquake that we can rebuild uh, the, the, you know, the, the, the society and the, the cities and the affected uh, location better, more much more resilient, also stronger. So I think it is important to get also experts on disaster preparedness as well as disaster management to make sure that we can minimize the impact moving forward if strikes happen. Well, we uh, look forward to uh, seeing the international community come together and assist. Ade Sukedas, thank you so much. Thank you for having me.